It's exciting to put a house on the market and to think about making new memories in new spaces. However, despite the anticipation of what's to come, we can still have deep sentimental attachments to the home we're leaving behind. Hello, this is Arnie from Intero with your Real Estate Insights for the week of January 4th. Growing emotions can help or hinder a sale depending on how we manage them. When it comes to the bottom line, homeowners need to know what it takes to avoid costly mistakes when it's time to move. Being mindful and prepared for the process can help you stay on the right track when selling your house this year. Now, first of all, it's important to price your home right. Now, when inventory is low, like it is in the current market, it's common to think that buyers will pay whatever we ask when setting a listing price. Believe it or not, that's not always true. Now, don't forget that the buyer's bank will send an appraiser to determine the fair value of your home. The bank will not lend more than the house is worth, so be aware that you might need to renegotiate the price after the appraisal. A real estate professional will help you set the true value of your home. Secondly, keep your emotions in check. Now, today's homeowners are living in their houses for a lot longer. Now, since 1985, the average tenure of the homeowner who's owned the home has increased from five to 10 years, and this is several years longer than what used to be the historical norm. The side effect, however, is when you stay in one place for so long, you get even more emotionally attached to your space. And if it's the first home you bought or the house where your children grew up, it's very likely this means something extra special to you. Every room has memories. It's hard to detach from the sentimental value. For some homeowners, that makes it even harder to negotiate and separate the emotional value of the house from the fair market price. That's why you need a real estate professional to help you with the negotiations along the way. Step three is to stage your home properly. Now we're generally quite proud of our decor and how we've customized our houses to make them our own unique homes. But not all buyers will feel the same way about your design and that's why it's so important to make sure you stage your house with the buyer in mind. Buyers want to envision themselves in the space so it truly feels like it could be their own. They need to see themselves inside with their furniture and their keepsakes, not your pictures and decorations. Now stage and declutter so they can visualize their own dreams as they walk down the hall. A real estate professional such as myself can also help you with the tips to get your home ready to stage and sell. Bottom line, today's seller's market might be your best chance to make a move. If you're considering selling your house, let's connect today so you can have the help you need to navigate through the process while prioritizing these must-dos. So call me at 415-264-7714. I'd love to help. And after all, it's not just property, it's your lifestyle. Bye-bye.